This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. Oh, I got to talk about that Bishop Man City, that no good Reverend William Barber. You know that fat slob mm. who was head of the NAACP in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Just got $560,000 from the MacArthur Foundation. When they give you money like that, you are a coon. Oh, that genius grant stuff? Yeah. Wow. I mean, if he was a genius, he'd lose that weight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, impress me. I mean, damn. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> I know that dude never, never did the hula hoop. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. hey, oh my! The poor people campaign, I mean, right? I mean, what happened with the poor people campaign? I mean, he's not poor. There were about there were about five of them. I called his the whore people's campaign because <laughs> Reverend Barber and them are really promoting the gay agenda. They're not promoting a black agenda. They're hiding behind black people. Let me just break them down. Okay. In, in fact, let's take a few minutes to talk about that dude. Okay. Reverend Barbers with a group of ministers out of the United Church of Christ that believes in something called black liberation theology. It sounds good. Let me explain to you what it means. Theology means the study of God. You understand that part. But mm-hmm. the tricky part is what they mean by black. Blacks have three parts, black people, homosexuals, and women. One of his friends attacked me in divinity school teaching about liberation theology, and they asked me, could I see Jesus Christ as a a black man? I said, yes. I, she said, as a woman, I said, he's a man. What about a homosexual? I said, he's on the cross for homosexuality, as all other sins, but not a homosexual. The man began yelling and screaming at me. How could Jesus Christ be a symbolic black man and not be a woman, a homosexual? You've lost your mind. <laughs> this mm. is Reverend Barber's closest friend, Reverend Hagler here in D.C. Oh, yes, he did tell me that liberation theology that they're pushing is really a white homosexual advancement agenda using black people to advance communist, illegal aliens, and gays. Mm. They don't, they don't, they're not with us. They're not for us. Okay. I wish they were. They're not. You ask yourself, you follow the news. Have you heard about any white officer being convicted? for shooting and killing a black in North Carolina and say the last 10 years? No, sir. Who was president of North Carolina in ACP? Not a barber. Exactly. I'm going to tell you one more story because mm-hmm. I'm angry with Barbara and I want you to tell everybody about this. There's a gentleman by the name of Afdal Leach, A-F-D-A-L-L-E-A-C-H. He lives down in Concord or Cabarrus, Concord, North Carolina, or either Cabarrus County. One of those two counties down there. It's near, it's near um, um, Charlotte, which is in a different county, and I'm not remembering the uh, name. There's a German name for the county that uh, Charlotte is in. Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg County. Mecklen- Mecklen- Mecklenburg County. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I know, I'm, I'm forgive me, my brain does not always oh, remember. You got a lot going on. You're a brilliant man. So go ahead, Dr. This, this young man got lost in 2012 or 2013, 2012. Mm-hmm. Got lost riding on his bike on a Saturday, went to a white man and asked him for help. The white man called the police. The police came, beat the shit out of this boy. Mm-hmm. They went through his bag. The family had made some homemade fireworks for the 4th of July, they decided that this boy had made bombs and he was on his bike and he was going to ride to Charlotte and attack the Democratic Party convention. 
Okay. Same kid who can't find his way around his own neighborhood. Hmm. Beat him up, threw him in jail with the drag queen. The family, nice people, weren't super educated, but good black folk, reached out trying to find someone that could help them get their child out of jail. Uh Somebody from the All African People's Revolutionary Party, Guinea Conakry, asked me if I would help. I love my people. It's a black family, good kid, do what you can, right? Mm Mm-hmm. I wrote up a press release. I started doing my thing to get this kid out. I got to the point of getting the sheriff in that county to be prepared to let that kid out within days of him being locked up. I scared the hell out of that man. But you know what? I realized I need some press help. So I reached out to the National African American, sorry, National Association of Black Journalists Mm -hmm. and asked them to do a story on this kid. And the man told me, we don't do any stories on race and the state of North Carolina without clearing it with Reverend Barber first. If you can get Reverend Barber to approve of us, we can do a story so we can help you get the kid out. And all the months that I tried to reach Reverend Barber, that fat motherfucker never called me one time. Mm. I wrote and called every single solitary chapter in the NAACP that had a listed number or email in the state, and I never got a response from anyone. I finally heard from the local Cabarrus County NAACP president who's friends with Barber. The main thing he tried to do was get this boy to confess to the crime. Mm-hmm. Boy had never committed a crime, was homeschooled, nice kid. Mm-hmm. What was going on, the family was being harassed by white terrorists and all this stuff. I began pleading to, for help. I said, this kind of trauma can hurt sheltered children. The family had moved from D.C. to save their children from the crack and the drugs here and, and took them to rural North Carolina to try to save them, right? Mm-hmm. And they have this situation. These kids are sheltered. You know what? I said, you know, these children, this could cause one of them to commit suicide. Don't want to lose a black child. They don't have to. I said this to Barbara's secretary. I told everybody we could lose one of these precious young black folk. It doesn't need to happen. We need to get this boy out before he's so traumatized by what's been done to him till he does something else. Or it hurts his sister or his brother. I never got any help, but I was able to raise the money to get that boy's ass out of jail. Mm -hmm. But that boy had been so hurt by what had been done to him. When he got out of jail, just as I got some people that were willing to represent him pro bono, this boy snapped and he destroyed a Confederate uh, graveyard. Mm -hmm. And they said this boy had a psychiatric problem and put him in, in jail. His Mm -hmm. brother hung himself and killed himself at 17. The blood of this boy is on Reverend Barber. And whenever I see Reverend Barber, I see a murderer. I want to say to all the black folks, remember the black guy who ran to the police for help and they shot him down? Yeah. That was North Carolina, right? Was that North Carolina too? Yes. (laughs) Barber, Barber didn't help. Barbers traded the lives of those black victims for his own personal power. Uh, If God gave that nigga a massive heart attack or stroke, I'd consider it a blessing. None of these people need to be our leaders. You don't let something, that child was innocent, that child could have been spared. That child hung himself because when he saw his brother put in jail, he felt like there was no hope for him. Mm. There were cases where the police were just killing people in Charlotte. It wasn't covered in the news because of Barber. Charlotte had several. Remember there was the people getting shot, handcuffed in the back of police cars in North Carolina? Uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. And nothing ever happened. Mm -hmm. Who was head of the NACP? Bishop Mantitty. 
Also, the brother got hanged in that white trailer park with his uh, Jordans missing. Remember yeah, she had the girlfriend. The girl, look, white who girlfriend. Headed, who was headed the NACP? Marvin. <laughs> okay. There are a lot of these deaths in North Carolina. There was the person that was shot on their porch by the police. Mm. Nothing done about it. Remember the man that got shot in the car waiting for his daughter? Mm-hmm. Who was head of the NACP? Bobby. Remember the guy shot by the sniper outside the hotel? Oh, Who yeah. was head of the NACP? Bobby. He's a he's a fraud. He's a fat fraud. He's immoral. He's I know he, got, like, he has to have a spinal condition or something too. Or? I don't. I, uh, he's got a, a satanic Luciferian condition. <laughs> Yes, sir. Whenever you see pictures, he's always surrounded by gays, a bunch of little lesbians that look like they played pro football in another life. <laughs> and all these other religions. I ain't mad, but I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe I know the only way to have them through Christ Jesus. Folk don't like that. Too damn bad. When the black folk have to beg people in other religions to pray and support us. He's on some crazy stuff. Do I agree with him about the voting and stuff? The only stuff you see him doing is Democratic Party stuff. Who was the one fighting for the men to piss in the bathroom with the little girls? Uh, Democrat. R- Reverend Barber. Oh, Reverend Barber. Okay, North Carolina. In particular it's, state. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, I don't give too damn. I mean, he's nothing. He'll never be anything. They can build him up. They're p- raising him up. To betray us. That's He's a, it's a triple X size. I call him Martin is the king size. Yeah, Martin the king size. What you say? I'm going to get say what? Say that again, Dr. Short. You said that again? Yeah, say it again what you said. Martin is the king size. <laughs> okay. Not triple size. Not another species. XL to the infinity. <laughs> Wow. I don't believe in it. I don't believe. And, you know, I don't care about his disability. His disability is in his spirit. You don't trade the lives of black people for your own aggrandizement. You're big enough any goddamn way. <laughs> I heard that. And he, I hope he buys his own plane. I wonder how many seats. Probably takes the whole midsection. Got like about four seats. Other people have to get bumped on the flight if they're on the waiting list. <laughs> well, Dr. Shaw, I want to thank you once again for this wonderful, infotaining edition of the short report. <laughs>